All right, guys. Today, we've got some shoulders and arms on deck with one of the JW coaches, Jamie Granville. She's also a WB, WPD competitor. Um, just won overall last week. Yeah. Last week, yeah. So she's getting ready for a pro qualifier here in a couple of weeks. So we're going to take you through what a shoulders and arm day would look like for a WPD competitor. Main reason for this is like programming for girls in these classes becomes really specialized and biased because we have body parts for each class that don't need to be developed relative to these others. So we need to understand how to program from a needs perspective. If you guys have been through the female module, you know kind of how I build out my thoughts on each class. So you guys can check that out if you haven't, but we'll walk you through all of that today in the gym. A lot of takeaways for your training, but also just like gross program design. So we're at Destination Dallas. We're gonna start on a prime ladder and we're gonna get rolling. And legs tomorrow. Uh, I tried it. Uh, do you know my uh, two friends, like the couple? I'm I've never been. I'm just so excited. So really like the prime piece, especially for people prepping. Um, just takes the loads off the elbow quite a bit. Um, when you're loading like cables and dumbbells, like we're having to have a moment arm away from the elbow that can drive some little niggles and pains. But when we load at the elbow with the pad, it really keeps an athlete safe and they can just shut their brain off. So it's, it's a really great piece, especially back end of prep. Like I'll a lot of times move all of someone's lateral work into this machine work, especially if you have a prime because you can adjust the cam to load it where you want in the range. So great piece. We'll knock out four sets here. Um, can't have too much lateral delt in any class. We were just talking like she wished she had this piece at home. It's like you have the cam that's so adjustable. We put it on five here to kind of account for being a little bit weaker in that shortened position. We'll do all of the sets at five, but for someone this late in prep, it's like such a game changer to have this piece. Uh, it really, it really helps with like just making sure the session high quality, all stimulus to delt, but at the same time, like, you know, it's, it's according to kind of how you want to load a lateral and one of the most invaluable pieces in that gym, if you have it. Get everything out of it. Come on. Uh, yeah, same rep. Don't change it. Yeah, again. Uh, Take one. Go, 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 go. Yep, that's it. Good shit. That's four. Uh, is it High Incline Smith next? Yeah. yeah. It is. What bench is the best? <laughs> the one that's the most stable. Uh, so we're going to try this one. A lot of the benches here, they'll like shake on you when you set them up and you're like trying to Wobbly. brace and the bench is shaking. So we're going to start here. So some people have asked like, look at downsize, like are you training or what's your training look like? The reality is my training looks like this. It's it's with clients when I can get it in with them and make them better athletes themselves. So it's a little all over the place. I get the full body in in a week. Like that's the goal. And whatever that looks like, according to like people being in town or whatever, um, that's what my training looks like. And so, yeah, it's not the most productive for my physique, but I'm past my competing years. My goal is to just keep winning and keep winning with the athletes I work with. So that's what my training looks like. We'll probably just put five on. I'll probably just put another 10 on. Come on. 
Yep, same rep. <laughs> yep, I'm with you. Come on. Drive. <laughs> go. Go, 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 go. Go. So you'll see this is like the only press she does today. With these classes, like spending a ton of time pressing to me is pretty pointless. And I know you see this a lot too, right? Yeah. Just like volume that could be spent elsewhere. Because like even in WPD, like you're not even looking at chest development much. Most of you guys have implants. So it's volume that could be dedicated to like lateral raise work to lat work, yes. to back development for upper back. Like we can spend so much more of our currency and volume towards these body parts that are gonna make a bigger impact to your outcome on stage, so. Arms, arms are forgotten about. Yeah, yeah. Cause I know you get a lot of female competitors who's like, so they've got like what? Like flat chest press and all. Flies. Flies, like pec decks. Yeah. You don't need to be doing a pec deck fly if you're WPD. Well, where's your suit cover, right? Yeah. So, so the area that you're working, your suit covers it. So what do we see? We see upper chest and you're going to get that from incline pressing. So, so already put your volume. I'm with you. Drive, 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 yours again. Take it again. Go. Yep, go. Go, go, go. Right. Come on. Wow, that feels good. I was just telling her I haven't like overhead pressed in like six months or more. Now it's Titty Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> still kind of have titties. <laughs> kind of like man titties, but they're still titties. <laughs> Too light? Pardon? Did you go too light? Well, just that shoulder was kind of gimpy for a while. Yeah. So I've just been able to do these again because I had to do them single arm for a long time with the cable. Right. right. So this side gets fatigued pretty quickly. Gotcha. You guys will notice like four sets lateral, three sets press. We'll do three sets here. And this is a couple weeks out of, of a show. All season, you could take this session and go four, five, six more sets of total shoulder work if you needed it in this day. I would tend to lean a little bit more towards like spreading it through the week. So maybe you have two push days that are shoulder dominant and you do some extra lateral work on like a leg day or whatever your stronger body part is. But um, definitely a lot of volume to be spent for, for girls because you don't have that extra chest work and because they can typically recover from a little bit more volume. So don't, don't be a, and sure, the set quality is there, but don't be afraid of pushing those sessions up. Oh, shit. God, that feels good. If y'all don't know Neto, he's like the bikini wellness pro maker on the J3 coaching team. Wave hi to the camera. Wave hi to the people. Hey, people. You guys will continue to see a lot more of him. He's uh, killing it with the bikini wellness, all the clients. So it's good. It's good to have him close by. He just hops in whenever he feels like it. I have elbow issues. So for me, like 
this has been a this was a game changer when I started doing this like three years ago because it allowed me to curl without pain. The N is for Neto on his shoe. <laughs> New Balance. Yeah. We need a Neto edition J3U coaching tennis shoe. <laughs> it's going to have the big N for New Balance and it's just going to say Edo in, in cursive. Yeah. I like how you go for Gatorade and New Balance. <laughs> <laughs> he always makes a joke on that podcast like that where he goes like, Gatorade. If you're watching this, I know that you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, take me back. You'll notice that she does this. She has like a little bit of a lean forward. What that does is it just, it drops off the load in the shorten, being this is the second tricep pattern. A little bit of a drop off in the shorten's fine because we're a little fatigued, so we want to be able to get it all the way there. So you'll see like the cable, the cable angle is at a right angle uh, with the forearm kind of like halfway, and then it gets closer to the arm, which is just a drop off in the total tension. So uh, that's kind of why it's set up like that. Oh, With athletes in prep too, something to consider is time efficiency. So we could theoretically do both of these unilateral, right? With like their ability to keep performance up throughout an entire gym session. If you can make the session a bit shorter, ideally that's gonna be a bit better. Um, she gets in pretty good positions bilateral for both of them. So just keep it bilateral. Um, save some time efficiency and go recover. <laughs> If you guys have any questions about anything we did in the session, put them in the comments below. We'll be down there answering questions. If you guys are looking for a coach, we got a whole team at J3 Coaching, including Jamie. So if you guys need that, you just check it out at j3coaching.com. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications on. We got a ton, a ton of content coming your way. Just completely revamped how we're doing content for the rest of the year and into next year. So a ton of value coming your way. Super, super excited for it. So don't miss out. Again, if you have questions, put them in the comments or even get into our forum where John and I can help you coach yourself through your process or even your clients. So till next time, take no all switch in the pursuit of results.